welcome back to a new video today i want to teach you how you can charge your non-tesla electric car to the tesla supercharger network also if you have a plug-in hybrid car or an electric car both will work just perfectly and in this video i want to explain you every single point because i didn't find on the internet too many information and i know that today the people don't know too many things about how can you charge your non-tesla electric car to the tesla supercharger stations and in this video i want to explain you that because i know how useful and how important it is for the people that have electric car to have the possibility to have more charging station on the road and this is a little bit more extra safety even though if you're not using that as often as you will it's also good to have it as an option and to know that you are able to charge it at the tesla supercharger in case you need it also the price as tesla supercharger are somewhere in the middle i can say that the price are on the top or on the uh, bottom they are somewhere in the middle in comparison with other charging stations so let's dive into it and first of all guys what you will need you will need a smartphone and once you have a smartphone you will need to download the tesla application and then once you download the tesla application let me show you let's go in the phone and let me show you exactly what you should do now once you download the application all you have to do is just go and open the tesla application you will have to make an account or or you can make the account on the internet on the computer or you can make the account also on the phone when you get for the first time the application right now here i'm already connected to the application and you can see my my tesla car here but let's say you don't have a car all you have to do is just go right in the corner and then here you will see your name and then if you go all the way on the right side you will see an um, image where it says charge your non tesla then all you have to do is just click on it and then it will open up a map okay and also if you have the um, gps and the location turn it on on your phone i really recommend you that so you can see much faster where you are located in that moment you will see also with red you can see numbers with red those are charging station tesla charging stations and it's great to have it as an option for example even though if you have another uh, charging uh, map for example another application for for uh, charging stations it's also useful to get this tesla application and to make an account and to make it uh, work because you never know when you need it and as you probably know tesla supercharger stations are always online and you know for sure if you go in that place you will have uh, you will be able to charge it because they are i think in my opinion the most safest charging station because i i drive with my car in some charging places with the other application and i notice when i when i get there that the charging station was not working or are out of uh, work so this is very important and i will definitely if i will have other electric car i will definitely get uh, the application so let's say for example you are here and you want to go to the uh, supercharging station number nine you just press on it and then it will give you all the information you will get the information like the name uh, where it is the charging power you can see 150 kilowatt maximum uh, how many stalls are available so you can see here there are nine from 12 available and uh, 2a and 2b is out of order so you know that directly from the application then you can go down here and you can see busy time and price per kilowatt and also keep in mind that if you charge the car completely and you will stay there without charging with a cable inside your car you will have to pay around one euro one franc or one dollar per minute so very important tesla really recommend you to keep on eyes on the charging um, uh, percent and if you are close to 100 or 100 you just after five minutes you have to move the car away so you can read it down here as well um, and it's very very important then you can see that tesla somehow they changed the price before was a fixed price now you can see that the prices are depending on the time 
and depending on the hour and depending on how crowded is the place so for example there are so there if there are many many cars at that time the price will be also uh, more expensive so if you have the time you can also go and charge the car in the hours where it's not so busy and you can see up here where it's when it's most expensive and when uh, the price is um, better also very important if you look down here on this charging station it's the most expensive it's 74 cent and the most cheap it's 67 cents and usually other charging station we will go right now let's choose another one let's choose one down here for example this one Bule. you can see the price it's even bigger but there are some of them let me search a little bit more in detail and there are some of them that are even more um, affordable for example if you go to nine let's see here we have 74 let's see this one the price is not the same so keep in mind that in some places the price is better some places it's more expensive but i find one a little bit earlier i don't know where it was i find i find one a little bit earlier where it was uh, much more affordable i don't remember where was that but for example if you go in germany um, you have also in germany it needs a little bit of time to charge i don't know why sometimes it needs a little bit of time to find the other maps let me take this out probably now yes it's searching for station so for example if you go in germany right here we will have the price like 73 cents 64 cents if we go down here 74 the same down here is in austria and you can see it's relatively a uh, small difference here and there but let me show you a trick so for example um you are going to schaffhaus here in switzerland yes and you can see the prices are here but if you go down 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 here you will see pay less with membership and nobody talk about that guys but you can become a member of tesla only for superchargers so let me show you if you press learn more you will see right here that supercharging membership if you pay monthly 13.99 francs or maybe euro depending on which country you are if you pay monthly you will have different member prices so if you go down here you can see also at this uh, supercharger where we uh, click on it you can see the members will pay per kilowatt 0.55 or 0.61 also depending on the hours and the non-members will pay almost 10 12, uh, 12 30 cents more than the members so this is really cool and if you go to other uh, charging stations let me choose another one for example in germany here close to stuttgart let's see need a little bit of time my internet it's slowly let's try again let's go again here and then let's go to stuttgart and it should search choose one in stuttgart going down here you can see also down on the bottom you can see the, the address and you can put the address also special separate in your navigation of your car or you can also press directly here um, on the on the screen you can just press um, drive there and you can go directly to your application on your phone and you can find for this address anyway but uh, if you go here again learn more and then with membership you can see also uh, the prices so if you want to join you just press down on the bottom join now and you will have to have connected your um, your credit card and your information and then you will receive the bill and you can become a member and if you go to charge often as tesla superchargers i really recommend you to do that now my question is as a tesla owners we are not able to have this opportunity to become a tesla members and to charge less but probably it will be a great idea in the future to to be able to do that as well so only as a non tesla um, car i should say member you will able to have uh, better prices anyway uh, this is the trick this is how simple it is guys 
and for example let's see let's say you have everything set up and you want to charge your car you are in stuttgart you are here at this uh, supercharger you just press on it you just open it up and then all you have to do is just press down here on the bottom charge here and then once you press charge here it will appear your um, information there how fast is the charging station uh, the charging fees here you see also information about it and how much you will you will pay for it so if you press on it you can see the charging fee and the prices and also it will tell you again if you become a member you will pay less and then all you have to do is just choose the post number so down here on the bottom um, then it says plug in first then select the post number then on down on the i don't know if you if you know it let me show you if you press down here on the how to charge it will show you where is the number you can see this is the tesla supercharger it looks like that everywhere and down here you will have a number for example here it's 1a and then locate the number and then park the car put the cable inside for example you are on 1a then pay attention because tesla it's really really important not to block other uh parking uh parking sites there so keep in mind always park your car straight there so other people can charge the car as well then 1a it was 1a it just press 1a and then all you have to do is just start charge and when you press start charge um, then the car will start charging and depend on how many kilowatt you get uh, you will have to pay you will pay and it will pay automatically because because let me show you if you go to account here on the wallet you will have to put a credit card so here on the wallet you just put your credit card and they will get the money automatically and if we go to order history here or not if you go to charging and then history on the charging you will see all the charging history that you where you charge and how much you have paid and it will give you so many information and even the invoice you will have all the invoices here if you want to use it for your company or if you want to use it for different um, for example for tax you will get all this paper very nice and you will find it always here and you can also download it all together from the upper right corner so guys it was kind of a long video but i hope you get some useful information from here it's super super easy to charge it and um i think it's super useful that was the video i hope it was useful i hope you get some useful information from here i just want to help you out you know like if you have an electric car i know how frustrating can be sometimes to want to charge the car and to don't find the right place or you want to do it fast or when you make long trips i think those tesla supercharger station will be really really useful another thing to take into the consideration before you do that it's that your charging port check your charging port on your car and see if you have for example in europe ccs if you don't have the same charging port the same cable you will have to buy a connection or, or kind of a uh, extender connection and then you can use it this is really important so check this out also before you make a membership before you make an application and stuff like that other than that i noticed that this function is not open to all countries so for example even though you have tesla supercharging in your country it doesn't mean that they work for the moment tesla i noticed that they open more and more and more and more and more and now in europe it's almost everywhere for example in switzerland almost all the tesla supercharger stations they are working also with other uh, non-tesla electric or plug-in hybrid cars and also germany i see also in italy in spain but also first of all check out romania and bulgari and i think also Czech republic they don't have yet this but anyway it's very simple it's very cheap first of all you can get the tesla application make an account it's free you don't have to pay anything and check there in your area if you have this 
possibility if you have this charging station that I showed you before. So guys, I hope this video was useful. I hope you get some useful information from this video. If you like it, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Also very important to share because other people uh, may find this useful and may be a really, really important for them as well. So by the way, Tesla, if you wanna buy a Tesla, if you didn't buy it and you wanna buy a Tesla in the future and you wanna receive 1000 credits from Tesla that you can use later for free uh, supercharger stations or use it for accessories or for different uh, items I will give you my referral code I will leave it in the description I will leave it on the screen so you can use my referral code and also if you need any help with this uh, just ask me also you can buy solar panels or whatever Tesla car you use you can use the referral code without any problem so thank you again to all of you stay safe don't forget to like share subscribe and I see you soon in the next one bye guys